This video was brought to you by Wondershare Filmora. Okay, here's the story. Filmora asked me if I wanted to try out their new silence detection tool, and because I'm always in need of more YouTube content, I of course said yes. This is a new feature, and it does cost extra money, so just be aware of that. Filmora gave me access for a month, and I'm basically just gonna check it out and see how it works. Alright, so here we are inside of Filmora once again. I have the new silence detection icon on my little taskbar. I also have the example clip that I'm going to be using. Uh, I will play through it for you real quick. Yes, I am 17 going on 12, but regardless, this works really well as an example clip. So as you can see, if I continue to play back the clip, there is a pretty long pause between individual nerf guns landing on the pile. And normally a clip like this would be edited so that it goes by really rapid fire. Let me show you what I mean. So if I drag it into the timeline and hit match to media, I can basically just split the clip every time the nerf gun lands on the ground. So I'm going to speed through that real quick. And then once that's done, I can just delete all of the empty space. And then once I've deleted all of that excess footage, I can go to the gaps in between the clips right here. I can click on it and hit ripple delete. Just do that for every little bit. And then if I play it back, you can see that we have a really rapid fire clip of me just piling up the nerf guns. So that's the end result that I'm going for here. The problem is it took a pretty long time to just cut out all of that empty space in between the guns landing on the ground. And this is where the silence detection tool comes in. Okay, so let me just clear the timeline real quick. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my example clip. I'm I'm going to go down this menu right here and click on the silence detection button. Again, this only shows up if you've actually bought the feature because it is an add-on. What the heck is this printer doing? This window keeps popping up for me. All right, so once I have clicked on silence detection, this window will pop up right here. So if we zoom into this timeline, you can see that the loudest audio spikes are all highlighted. And sure enough, that is the point where the Nerf gun hits the ground. There are some basic settings right here, such as the volume threshold. In this case, let's just lower it and see what happens. Restart. And then you can see that it has picked up all of these other audio spikes as well. Those audio spikes were basically just me in the background actually picking up the Nerf guns and getting ready to throw them. Obviously, in that case, there's no action actually on screen. It's just background noise. And so we don't want that. Obviously, it's not exciting. Uh, so I can just change the threshold back to 25 and hit start and it will reset that. If you want to add a little softening buffer, you can do that, but I am not going to. Uh, I'm also pretty happy with the minimum duration. So I'm happy with what I've got and I'm just going to click export to timeline right here. And now as you can see, it is all in my timeline and I can just play it back. And just like that, my clip is pretty much fully edited. If I wasn't actually explaining this as I went, it probably would have taken me like 10 seconds. So actually, let me do that real quick. Silence detection. Everything looks good as it is. Export to timeline and boom, fully edited clip within seconds. And that's huge, it saves a ton of time. As I demonstrated in the beginning, you can obviously do this manually, but it does just uh, add on to the time that it takes to edit the overall video. And this feature would also be really helpful for normal talking headshots like the one you're watching right now. Um, normally when I'm filming a video, as you just saw, there are awkward pauses and silences where I'm kind of just gathering my thoughts and figuring out what to say next. And um, I'm actually not editing this bit so that you can see what it actually looks like as I'm filming. Uh, so yeah, you know, this tool, this tool would help me <laughs> cut out all of those silences and uh, get through them a lot faster because I obviously want to be editing the part where I'm talking, not the part where I'm just sitting, staring off into space. But yeah, this is a super helpful tool. I am happy to report that it pretty much works perfectly, at least in my limited testing. For the final version of this clip, I did do a little bit of extra editing. The main thing that I did is crop in and out of the frame as the Nerf guns hit the ground, pretty much just to add a little bit of extra excitement. In order to do this, you just click on the clip and go to the transform panel, and then using the scale slider right here, you can zoom in and out of the frame. You can also click on the clip in the playback window and actually readjust it to improve the composition. I also added this one final clip of me lying on the Nerf guns and giving a thumbs up. Finally, I can just add a little bit of background music and voila, the final clip. Okay, so thank you again, Filmora, for letting me try this feature out. And if you, the viewer, found this video helpful, be sure to let me know by leaving a like. And consider subscribing to the channel because my current goal is 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.